All right, y'all, this is the look that we are giving for tonight. I did not have time to do my nails. I wear press ons or I do a gel overlay. I didn't have time for that tonight, so we're bare, unfortunately, but it's still giving the vibes. I'm gonna do my press ons tomorrow morning. And then I have on this shirt. I believe it came from, I don't know, but I got it from Chicago, Illinois, this shirt. It's this skirt too, Chicago, Illinois. I bought it together. Um, I have on tights, Boutard J. I have on black leather. These boots are giving, aren't they? Knee boots. I didn't want to do heels tonight. I just wanted to keep it cute and simple. And the boots came from fashion, wholesale, or direct, or fashion. I don't know. In the future video, I'm actually going to show y'all these. Like my fall go-to stuff. And then I'm wearing my Brahmin bag. A black and white Brahmin handbag. So this is the look that we are giving. And the body is the body, you know? Y'all, I've been working hard in the gym. Three weeks, though. Well, only three weeks, but for three weeks, <laughs> baby. I didn't get to take y'all on my date, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Your body is the temple of Jesus Christ. It's very important to take care of your body. When I look at myself, I know that I need to feed myself the best nutrients possible because in the Bible, it tells us everything that we should eat and what we shouldn't eat. And I'm taking that very important. I'm at first watch. This red medicine drink was bomb, y'all. I got me some grits and then I had some eggs. It was good. But I am at Hobby Lobby. And I'm getting some Christmas stuff. I have found you these have pillows. Very cute. Wait. Can't wait. Yes, let me show y'all the look today. Let me see if I can show y'all while I'm here. I changed my shoes. I had on heels earlier. I put on my hat because I don't want no air to get my ear because it's raining out. Let me show y'all. Look, I had on some suede heels, but I changed the um, pants and I had a the blazer was open concept earlier, but not no more. Let me show y'all. But this was bound like a little more. I had to tie it up because, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Do they change it when you, um... Yeah, I took them for... Thank God it's so good. He woke you up this morning. The Lord woke you up this morning. Say amen. So, y'all, I just, um, got, um, up and prayed, read my Bible. I read Proverbs 31, and now I'm going into Ecclesiastes. I'm on Ecclesiastes 1. So, I just read half of that. I got read the whole proper 31. Y'all, God is so good. I feel so good. I did praise and worship this morning. Mm, Jesus. The atmosphere is, man, I just love the atmosphere when the Holy Spirit is taking over. You got to learn how to kill your flesh and let your spirit rise. Kill your flesh. The flesh will get you in so many bad things. The flesh will have you messed up, jacked up, all this up. But yes, God is so good. It's very important to not lean on your own understanding. Trust God when you're going through trials, tribulations. Even when you're not going through trials and tribulations, when you're not going through trials and tribulations, you should always still trust God. Put your mind on the Lord always. Jesus never will fail you. Man will fail you, girl. Man will fail you. But Jesus... <laughs> He will always be there with you when you have no one. When mama left you, when daddy left you, when sister left you, brother left you, friends, family. When everybody left you, Jesus will still be there. And I'm pretty sure that y'all know that if y'all been through, everybody been through something in life. If you haven't been through nothing, then you must not be human. Or you must not be followers of Christ. 
Because the Lord says that, mm -mm. the Lord says that, you know, Jesus did so many works. Jesus did so many miracles. But we have those same capabilities and us as Christians, as believers, we need to know that we can do that. The Lord says that we will do even greater works. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mm. The Lord says that we will do even greater works. Y'all know how big that is? Like, stop sleeping on yourself, girl. Girl, you got the power. You can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. The Lord says the last shall be first. If you feel like you was in a road race and you was always going, always last, people putting you on the back burner, just know that Jesus says this is your season to be first. Your season. Your season to be first. All right, y'all. I'm about to get ready to take my baby girl to school. Take her to school. I'm going to have Bojangles for breakfast. I can't cook right now. I'm tired of it. I can't cook. Because our kitchen's being repaired. So, I don't know. I think I got two more weeks left. Maybe three. I think two. I hope two. Because I want to cook. I'm tired of eating out. The other day was a nail in my food. I was disgusted. And it was at my favorite restaurant as well. But yeah, so, and then after I drop her off. Oh, happy Monday, by the way. Happy Monday. After I drop her off, I am going to, y'all see it. You see it, girl. Where we going? We're going to the gym. Your girl wants to pay. Won't he do it? He said he would. Cause I learned some discipline. Won't he do it? But yes, I learned some discipline, y'all. <sighs> when you <sighs> when Lord says do something, girl, you better do it. Cause I've been hearing His voice clearer. Yes, I've been learning. <laughs> I've been hearing the voice of the Lord so clear now because I don't have all this garbage in my body, y'all. I gave up gluten. I'm about to eat grits, okay, from Bojangles. I'm eating grits, okay? I gave up gluten. I gave up sugar. All that stuff, y'all. All that stuff. I've been eating whole fruits, organic ones. And y'all, stop thinking that organic is expensive. It's not that much more. It really isn't. Probably a couple of cents, a couple of dollars. I know time got hard for a lot of people. But if you're able to still purchase stuff and do things, you better be trusting and thanking God because that's the only way it's getting done. And I'm grateful and thankful that I'm not in the rough race of struggle. I struggled before. I struggled for years. And I ain't ashamed to admit it. I have in my past. But the Lord, when you trust God in all things, he will make a way, baby. He turned that thing around. He turned that thing around. And what I do, I bless others. So when God gives you more, you need to bless others. He don't give you more just to keep buying things. I bless others around me. Anyway, enough of that. Y'all, I'm girl. Mm. God, see, God knew the right time to make me lose his way because, honey, Girl, the old me will be trying to show a little skin and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. only skin I probably would show now is just a little bit of belly every now and then. But even then, I feel like I don't want to do that really now. Little sometimes, every now and then, I might, you know. But but anyway, talk to you soon. I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little while. I might probably try to do my nails too. I don't know. I don't know. I'm waiting for my press on to come in the mail. I know it sounds ghetto. Sound ghetto, but yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. My press on to come in the mail. But I'm probably do a gel overlay on my nails for the week. Because I didn't do my toes. Like I told y'all, I don't go to no nail salon. Disgusting. I started making a gym a priority in my life. Y'all, when I tell y'all I feel so much better in the inside, I used to feel so 
ugh, and blah about myself. But now I feel so much better. I'm learning to take this serious because I always start and stop. But this time I am going to keep going. Okay? Yes. Hey, y'all. This is the look that we are giving today. This is the look that I'm going for. Um, I'm wearing my shirt open right now. It's, I'm going to close it in a little while. It's because I got my waist trainer. But I have on this green two-piece like I want to say rib it's red but it's not knit I don't know what kind of fabric this is which I should know because I am a designer but anyway I'm wearing that with these flare pants and I'm wearing my coach wristlet um I am going to probably do a video later on because now I'm going to start doing um my fashion videos so we're gonna this is a lifestyle and fashion channel i know at first i was like oh it's lifestyle this is this, this no it's just lifestyle and fashion and then maybe eventually who knows i might start a sewing page but that might be down the line just for people that want to learn how to sew it'll be strictly sewing and for beginners it'll be beginner friendly so but we don't know when that's gonna happen so i'm not gonna speak too much more on that but that's the plan but hopefully it's soon soon as I get things going in my sewing area. Then I got on these, I had to take them off. I got these Coach, some of the bottom, these Coach clogs on. I love these. And I do have a fur purse that I wear with them, but I wasn't in the mood for that today. So I'm actually about to take this waist trainer off. I'm about to go grab a bite to eat, actually going to Applebee's. I like Applebee's. Some people like, oh, Applebee's. Oh, and I got my nails done. Did them myself. Got them nude. If you're new here, those that don't know, I do my own nails, toes, and hair. Okay? And I've been doing that since the pandemic. And sometimes I do go get my hair done professionally, especially when I need to get a trim or something like that. But other than that, I've been doing my own hair because I know what I like and I know what makes me happy. Hey y'all, so I just left Smoothie King. This is my first time going to Smoothie King. DAs and outmatching conservative candidates a couple of years ago, we would have never got to a point of this massive crime wave where people feel unsafe okay. in our community. And all of the I wish I would have got the, the um, local one, but all the I got the slam something really banana. Nothing to trump the lived experience of Americans okay. who made their communities felt less safe. I'll go back. It ain't terrible. This on the streets. All of these things. I really think that the but yeah. deserve that's what I got. I just left Applebee's. Applebee's was terrible. They had gave me a raw steak. It was raw. It wasn't even. I asked for medium well. And it was raw. Raw. So, I am going to take it home and Because I didn't want them to take it back. And plus, our server was trash. Like, he never checked on us. Not one time. To see how we were doing. If we liked our food. And then when I told him that my steak was raw, he was like, oh, okay. Like, but anyway, so now I am on my way home. Well, I think to Lowe's, then home. And that's about it. Now I'm about to go home and like I told y'all before, I got to do some filming for my fashion day. So... We're gonna do vlog one day, fashion one day. So posted throughout the week. So, trying some different. The reason why I did vlogs because it's for me, for me to document me and where God is taking me. And so if something ever happens to me, which God forbid, knock on wood, but if something ever happens to me, then my daughter will be able to go back and look and be talking and living. And that's why I'm doing vlogs. It's not. And to, to help people know that you can do all things. You can do whatever you want. I don't care if you're 50, girl. You can do it. 60, you can. 70, girl, you can do it. You can still do it as long as you're breathing. As long as the God gave you air to breathe, you can do whatever you want to do. But, yeah, so I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Bye.